Hey guys, what's up? My name is Salamander Anagram with ADSR Sounds. And in this video, I just wanted to give a quick overview of my newest reactor ensemble, which I've named Simple Scratch. And as the name implies, this is just a simple tool to create scratch effects in Reactor. To use it, you will need the full version of Reactor, unfortunately. Um, and to kind of make our sounds is fairly simple. We've got uh, not a whole lot of controls to work with here. In the top section is just our sample loader, so you can drag and drop a sample from your file browser or from the file browser built into Reactor over here. Uh, you can drag a sample into that section to load it, and you can click and drag um, to choose the starting point that your scratches are going to start on like this. Next up we have the playback speed controls which is right here and so basically this is controlling the speed that the sample plays back at. At the top of the graph the sample is playing back as fast as it possibly can. In the middle of the graph it's not playing at all. So anywhere between the middle and the top is, you know, kind of fading between playing as fast as it can, playing slower, playing slower, playing slower, stopping. And then when we go beneath the center of the graph, it starts playing in reverse. And the faster uh, it'll play faster in reverse, the lower on the graph we go. So we can control the maximum speed uh, with this control on the right hand side here. And so 0.5 is saying the maximum speed is half the normal speed. And if we set it to 3, that means the maximum speed on this graph is going to be three times the normal speed of playback for the sample. So you can draw into this section just by clicking and dragging on any one of these little circles here. And kind of drawing in how the sample is going to be played over time. So this one that we're looking at right now, you know, it starts playing back at full speed and then kind of slowly grinds to a halt and it sounds like this. So beneath that we have the amplitude controls and those work in the same way where you can click and drag uh, the circles to set the amplitude for a certain position. And uh, typically, you're going to kind of draw these up and down effects here to simulate a DJ uh, kind of wiggling a crossfader back and forth. So when we trigger one of these, uh, we can trigger these sounds using notes C2 through C3. So C2 is going to be this first one here, D2, E2, F2, so on and so forth. C3 plays the eighth uh, little pattern that we set up here. So to trigger these, um, when we trigger these, we can see um, a little circle kind of move across the graph that shows us what part of the uh, graph is being played back at any given point in time. And we can control how fast that moves using the length knob over here. So this is a time in seconds. So. <clears throat> When we set it to six, it means it's going to take six seconds to go across this whole section here, which means it's going to go about half the speed, or maybe even less than what we were, or than where we were traveling before. So it's important to dial in these length and speed settings to get the effects that you want. All right, so that pretty much sums it up. This is a very simple ensemble to use. Um, you just draw in the samples, um, drag in the sample that you want to use, draw in the patterns to play back, both for amplitude and for the speed of playback, and then trigger them using notes C2 through C3. All right, 
Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy this ensemble. Once again, my name is Salamander Anagram. Thank you.